Hey guys, this is Steven from TechSteveSD. In this video, I'm going to update um, the Google's Music uh, syncing software. Uh, right now, I'm on a Mac computer, and my goal is to get the iTunes Music into my Google's Gmail account so I can play it on my uh, phone. So let's get started here. Uh, first, you want to go ahead and head over to play.google.com slash music and it'll actually get you this link right now if you can see I don't have any music loaded up in my cloud so what you want to do is go over here to upload music click on music manager and then right here is going to be downloading the music manager software once it completes we'll get started now the music uh, software is downloaded double click on it and you're going to install it into your Mac computer now when you get this pop-up going on, you want to hit music and just drag it over to applications. And then it's going to continue the install right there as you can see. Now that it's installed, I'm going to minimize everything. And I'm going to go over to Finder, Applications, and look for the music icon. So there it is right there, the music manager. Double click on that. hit open then you'll get a pop-up and now you can see the music manager at the bottom go ahead continue and you're gonna need to sign in your Gmail account once you sign into your Gmail account you'll get a few options here now it says do you want to sync from iTunes or music folder or other I'm gonna choose iTunes hit continue and right now it has found 58 songs of my um, iTunes with seven playlists also, you can put podcasts if you like. I'm going to go and check that for future references. Hit continue. This is saying that uh, do you want to automatically add songs to your Google's account whenever you, you know, drag new music from iTunes or purchase it? Hit yes. And then hit continue. So currently it is actually uploading um, my files into my Gmail account. But keep in mind it's got to prepare everything first. Also, if you have any music that's DRM protected, you will not be able to upload that. It will actually just cancel out. So there you go. So if you go to the music player, it's going to log up into my account and it's going to show the music that's starting to upload in there. So let's see if that works. Yes, there it is. So a minute ago it was empty and now it's, it's uploading on my account. Now, if you look right here, it says add it. It has 15 files and 46 uh, total that's going to come in here and if you actually see there my playlist has already started to develop now keep in mind on iTunes you don't have to do anything to iTunes because this software is grabbing this list out of it and putting it into my Gmail account once you have that have that set up then you can pull up your uh, your Android device and continue to play it so hang tight and I'll show you okay now I have my Nexus 7 device here and I have the music little icon there I'm gonna press on it Go ahead and set it up and choose the same Gmail account. Hit done. And there's a new program called All Access that you can pay $10 a month, but I'm not doing that right now. Hit OK. And pretty much this is the same playlist that I had in my uh, computer. So, And uh, you can go ahead and play it. Now keep in mind, if you want to put any songs on your memory card so you can play it offline, just press on the song. And you have this little pin here, just press the pin. And next time it goes on uh, Wi Fi, then it'll download it to your memory card. That way you can kind of keep some stuff in the cloud and some of it local. So there's my video on how to use the new uh, Google's Play Store uh, updated version 2.0. Hope you like it. Please subscribe, tell your friends about it, and you have a good day. Steve is